Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. You may notice, I'm not sure how this uh, recording is going to come out, but you may notice something. The game looks significantly better. Uh, yeah, uh, I decided to transfer everything over to a dolphin, uh, to the dolphin emulator, I should say. So we're no longer playing this on the Wii U. I've managed to transfer all of my saves and everything over. Uh, I thought I'd give it a go and I was absolutely blown away by how much better it was. Um, now I'm no stranger to emulation. I actually do enjoy my emulators but I've had very little success with Dolphin over the years. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because I'm a noob. I'm not sure. But this game seems to be running absolutely beautifully. And it's really difficult to go back. Anyway, after having two encounters with Rufal over there and getting our ass thoroughly kicked, uh, I think it's probably time that we just go explore and we'll come back to him uh, later on. Uh, everybody's pretty good. Actually, let's go heal up for now. That way you can see um, just how nice this town looks. Just how, like, everything is absolutely razor sharp it's really quite incredible uh, the sound is actually emulated better as well it sounds a lot better than the Wii U which I uh, I don't know how that works but okay anywho let's go let's go have a rest so that will repair our ship uh, and everything and then we're gonna carry on to the blue Oh, the green moon area, I should say. Yeah, this was so muddy and fuzzy before. Uh, you know, it didn't really bother me because that's, you know, that's what the game looks like. It's an old game. It's going to look old, you know. Um, <laughs> it's pretty simple, really. But yeah, emulation, man. Oh, when emulation works, it's so cool. There is something nice about just sitting there and playing it on the actual hardware. Um, but emulation, man. Ugh. Uh, also, the fact that I don't have to use the bloody GameCube controller. Uh, you know, wired piece of shit that the GameCube controller is. I hate the GameCube controller. Uh, and I can use my Xbox Series controller. Which is, you know, automatic win again. Anyway, let's return to the ship. We also have save states. Um... Ah, oh, look how sharp and clean this is. It's unfrickin' believable. So we have save states. Uh, we also can fast forward gameplay, which we'll be using instead of cutting out battles, because why not? Uh, what else can we do? Uh, I think that's pretty much it, actually. But even, even little things like the map. The map. This is so clear now. Uh, it really was very fuzzy and muddy uh, on original hardware, but hey, whatever. Anyway, let's go. So I have done about an hour of grinding, something like that. Actually, a friend of mine, Chris, has recommended before we go to Blue Moon, it might be worth checking out Sailor's Island, which we will do, actually. But before we do that... Let's get another oh, some fish here. There's another discovery we can actually get over here. Now, I have been kind of following a discovery guide. And we can fast forward these fights, which is absolutely fantastic. We don't have to skip them. We can just literally fast forward them. Which is going to make things much, much easier, I can tell you. Especially as sometimes um, I've paused the recording and the recording hasn't resumed properly afterwards, which is really fucking annoying. And I've lost quite a lot of footage that way. Hey, we recovered a voice. But fast forwarding the game works lovely. Anyway, so over here, there we go. You have found the star sand. Star sand. In southern Nassar, there was once a desert filled with sand that would sparkle even in the dark of the night. But slowly, their sparkle faded. But legend has it that someone saved some sand in a giant bottle and hid it for centuries. Okay. And yeah, that is a pretty big battle. 
uh, battle. Pretty big bottle. Also, what we can do, if we want to travel the world map, we can manually increase the game speed by, like, say, twice and actually cruise along the map at a much faster rate. But we won't, because it makes the sound go weird and funny. But we will fast forward the battles. Just because we can. So yeah, very happy to be uh, playing on this emulator. Now, uh, one thing I have done. Uh, I did spend about an hour grinding. The only problem is, the enemies that we're up against here are so weak. There's no real point in grinding. I just want to go back to Sailor's Island. To see if there's any new goodies. We should be able to go through any of this if I'm correct. I don't know if there's any goodies around here. Any discoveries. I do actually have a map that I wanted to print out that has discoveries on. But the guide for discoveries that I am following has them set out in a very specific order. What we're we fighting here. Eh, basic stuff. Go for an attack, you can go for a special move, go for Alpha Storm, something like that. Should take most of them out in one go. Lovely. That'll work. It's so much better than having to manually cut everything out. Oh my god. So, oh yeah, we also have loads. Ah, we've got another Moonberry. I think we have a few Moonberries to spend, actually. We have a lot of... Uh, new magic for our characters as well. We've got lots because I was doing leveling. Now, we didn't actually go up many actual levels, but we increased our magic pretty significantly, uh, I might say. Uh, we have some very powerful stuff. Can instantly kill any one enemy. May not work on powerful monsters or bosses. That's quite interesting. Um, we also have man oh my god i can't get over just how much better the colors and everything look on this um everything looks so washed out before but we have some new items as well uh which will cast quicker on us oh hello that's the discovery that we've already got i believe yeah that's the guide stones cool yeah so um we have some new items which will make Leveling ourselves up and buffing ourselves much, much more efficient in combat. And the main reason is because it won't take up precious SP. Right, let's go sell that discovery we've got. Hey, you're Vase Admirable. Welcome. Uh, or admirable, I should say. Right, let's sell some info. Okay, so Star Sands. It's not worth a huge amount of money, but, you know, it's okay. It's probably worth it. Now, wanted list. Yeah, so Rupee of the Lasso Clan. He's the one that's really being a pain in our ass right about now. But that's fine. Uh, anyway, let's get out of here. Now, Chris is also told me that there is another item that we need to get in here. Oh my god, look how much better it looks. Look how much... Oh, it's just re fucking ridiculous, guys. Okay. I can hardly believe it, but they say there's some amazing fellow who managed to burst out of the Value and Grand Fortress. To think that he busted through those massive steel walls. Man, it's too incredible. Yeah, that was us, dude. Uh, okay. Have a little look, see if we've got any new weapons and shit. All right, dude, you got anything good for me? Oh, hey, you're Vase, the Admiral. I've got plenty of great weapons for you. Do you want to buy something from me? Uh, yeah. If you do have anything new. That, oh, that's better. That's an upgrade for Dragma. We'll have that. I guess it was worth coming back here early. I mean, we were going to come back here anyway, but it's worth coming back here now. Uh, that's... A downgrade that's a downgrade okay well that's fine we've got a nice upgrade for drachma 
Alright, no worries, dude. Now, let's see what else we have here. Do you have anything for us? I don't remember. Oh, hey, Vase. How's the sailing going? Have you travelled around the world yet? Uh, not quite yet, dude. Not quite yet. Now, apparently there's an item that we need back here. We can actually go and grab a balloon, I believe. Now, I don't know where this balloon is. Oh, and apparently, yes, of course, we can speed this up. <laughs> Lovely. There's a balloon up here that we can grab. Ah. So there is. Hey, there's a balloon here. I wonder what it's doing here. Hmm, wait, there's a bottle attached to it and a note inside. Uh, quieter. Please send warriors to help us fight against the evil. Please send warriors to help us fight against Valiants. Whoa, I wonder who wrote this. Sounds like they're in trouble, whoever it is. I should probably keep it just in case. You received a note in a bottle. Right, cool. Okay, thanks, Chris. That's that. Okay, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Now. What else can we do? I guess we could have a quick look in the item shop whilst we're here. Now we could potentially... Uh, oh, we could look in the... Ship shop, I suppose. Let's have a little look, see what we've got. Ooh, standard cannon. Apparently the standard cannon. Ooh. That has a lot of attack. I'm not quite sure what the drawback is. Like the standard cannon is apparently better than the main cannons that we have. But the three inch blaster is also significantly better. Um I mean I don't really I don't really understand those stats. So that does like thirty five more attack than that right okay I'm not really sure what the difference is they're also saying there that the standard cannon is better than the main cannon which I guess okay we'll get two of those instead then why not Yeah, I mean, it only goes up a little bit, but that's fine with me. I wonder if it's worth getting another 3-inch cannon, then. See, because that uses um, four spirit points. But that... That uses two. But I think it uses two per round. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's just go for another standard cannon for now. Just for now. Or should I say, yeah, replace the main cannon. Sure. Okay. We'll leave that for now. Right, let's sell some of this equipment, I suppose. Yeah, so the main cannon. Oof. Oh, we've got heavy cannons there. Wait a minute. What about heavy cannons? When do we get those? Let's sell those two that we've just bought. We might have just wasted some money here. Hang on. Hang on. Where did they come from? Did we buy those earlier and not equip them? Or did we get them from a ship? I'm not sure. Standard cannon. Yeah, they're better. But they do cost... 
they do cost a lot more spirit to use. Well, they use they cost an extra one spirit to use. So I guess we'll equip those for now. Um I mean, it might be nice to have the standard cannon just because it does require a little bit less spirit to use. And it doesn't compromise its attack that much. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because the heavy cannon would be nice, but it does, yeah. I think that could, at some point, make some difference. So, we'll hold on to that for now. Okay, cool. Whatever. We're going to get a lot better equipment as the game goes on. Anywho, let's have a look in here. Let's see what items you have. Wow, I never thought I, I'd get to meet Vase, the Admiral, in person. <laughs> You're just as cute as they say you are. Hey, excuse me, you've met me before. Just saying. I bought a lot of crystals as well. Magic droplets. Cure crystal. Um, cures all adverse effect on one ally. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I mean, these are always useful. Yeah, a couple. Let's get 20 more of those. I mean, we've got the money. Money isn't much of an issue. Um, 500. I mean, these crystals are kind of obsolete now, but they are cheap as fuck. So... You know, there's that, I suppose. Um, right, magic droplets are... Well, they're one of those things that when they're useful, they're really useful. Um, yeah, let's just max out on those. Almost max out on those, because we've got chests and things to find. So, we'll get another one. We'll have 90. That's cool. We've still got plenty of money anyway. Okay, at least we're, like, well-equipped now. At least, I hope we're well-equipped. Anyway, let's go. Now, that guy's also around here somewhere. That person. Actually, we might as well sleep here and get healed. Because we have been through a few fights. Well, long time no see. Where have you kids been? Those air pirates that everyone's been talking about. The ones that have been pushing value around. That's you kids, isn't it? Yeah. Don't worry, I won't turn you into the Valuans. In my tavern, whether you're a pirate or a soldier, you're a customer all the same. Oh, well, isn't that sweet? Oh, this isn't the bloody inn, is it? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Let's return to the ship. Now. Okay. So... Somewhere here. Oh, there's a Valiant ship there. We go take that bastard out. Why not? Come get some. Now, this could have been a mistake, but I don't think so. Now, speeding... Ah, it's only a spell ship. Death to anyone who dares oppose the power of the Valiant Empire. Right, we're just gonna... Uh, what we'll do... Let's focus up a load of spirit. And being able to fast forward these is immensely satisfying. Yeah, we're going to take some hits, but that's fine. Because we're going to be able to have the ability now to use our primary weapon if we get the opportunity. Yeah, he's chipping away at us, but it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. We have loads of focus now. Right, so... Let's use a repair kit. I guess we're going to go for some... Let's go for guard. Some evasive action. And then we'll use our primary weapon. And then that should be the end of him. We'll go for another attack, just in case we need to. But I don't think we're going to need to. That's fine. Increm, huh? Not really going to help you much. Alright, let's see how this goes. Should take him out in one go. Pretty much. No, it should actually. Yeah, he's gone. 15,000 damage. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't actually get much for that. Sadly. 
Now. Where, pray tell, is the doctor? Is that him up there? Yeah. I think we've got some more things for him, haven't we? Hi. Hi. I see you've got some more, some moonfish. That's it. Let's feed the little critter. Right, let's give him some moonfish. I can't remember. Oh, we've got at least two more, haven't we? Possibly more than that. Hmm, that thing is getting big. Alright, what are you going to give me, my little dude? Oof. It's kind of getting legs now. What do we get? 50 sky sir. Really? You spat up 50 fish. Well, thanks, I guess. Uh, yeah. Keep feeding. Something's different about him. What's wrong? Ah, he's alright. He's just becoming a big bouncing boy. Oh! I don't know. He looks different for some reason. Yeah, he kind of looks like an egg now. I don't know why or how, but it looks like every time he's, he grows, his body changes in other ways too. Yeah. What have we got this time? Aura of val Valor. I'm not sure what that does. I guess we'll have a look. Hey, let's keep going. Oh, he's got like a little, uh, <laughs> a little tail on the back of his head now. He's got like a ponytail. <clears throat> keep feeding him fish. Hmm, that thing's getting big. Definitely changing. Right, what have you given me this time? Counter bracer. Interesting. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Still got some moonfish. Nice. Right. Enjoy, my friend. What next? I wonder how big it's going to get. I wonder what it's going to look like when it's done as well. Uh, Rizalem box. Uh, okay. Alright. So, what was that? Bracer of counter or something. Let's have a look at that. That's the map. So, we got... Now, let's have a look at that. Counter Bracer. Improves physical attributes slightly, as well as counter-attacking. Attack power and hit percentage. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see if anyone can actually use that. Got the Warrior's Rune. See, that puts his defense down by quite a lot. Mm, not a fan. Right. Equipment. What does that do for you? Push your hit up and your attack up significantly, but... Uh, just keep going. Silver Veil, I don't think it's going to be very good for her. She can't actually use it. Anyway, so... That's not surprising. Drac. Oh, dragon has got nothing equipped. Interesting. Yeah. That's good for Drachma. Yeah, he can have that. That's really fucking good. Uh, and the other item we got was... Uh, items... Something... Oh, I know what it was. It was, I think it's a consumable item. So we've got the Glyph of Might. Yeah, so that 
casts Incrum basically on every ally, so we don't have to use magic. Uh, an endorsed crystal that will revive one ally. Okay. We've got the aura, ah, that was it, aura of valor. Sacred stone that boosts the spirit of the entire party to heroic levels. Ah, so that's consumable item, I guess, that refills our spirit bar. Interesting. All right, well, let's carry on. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the green moon place. Shall we? So we need to go what direction? We need to go southwest think yeah southwest so we've got to fight our way through the next part of the game but that's fine in fact we probably do with saving it I haven't saved it for a while also I'm having some very strange stuff with the saving on the simulator which is why I have set up another memory card because this memory card in slot B does seem to be more reliable I think anyway right one second guys okay and we're back right so let's try and head to the blue uh, why do I keep saying blue moon it's the green moon uh, now I don't know if there's any more discoveries we can get apparently there is one discovery down here what we're fighting, stone beaks. There is one discovery down here that we potentially can get early. It is an absolute dick penis of one to get, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. That'll do, Donker. That'll do. Hey, base level. Nice. And we got another rank in yellow magic. Okay, now with our more powerful engines, we should be able to get through here. Now, we need to have a look at our map. Ah, that discovery there is really hard to apparently get. If that's the discovery, I think it is. What are we fighting here? Oh. Right, so first thing we want to do is use Cutlass Fury on that because that thing is worth a hell of a lot of XP uh, and money and also very difficult to hit let's keep going okay looks like most of them are running which does seem to be a bit of a thing in this game uh, we are going to use, we go for some alpha storm action uh, I guess we'll get at least two of them with that blast. Everybody else can just attack as normal. Oh, okay, they're resistant to that magic. Interesting. A little bit stronger enemies. One left. Okay, and he ran away. Unfortunately, if an enemy runs away, you don't get anything for it. But we've got a good amount of money anyway. Hey, nice. Not bad. Happy with that. Right. Need to keep going forwards. I think that's a discovery that is a penis to get. Come on. Nope. That is not the discovery. Now, this is a really annoying area because... If we don't um, fight properly, or if we don't keep moving, I should say, then we will actually slip backwards. You need to keep moving. Very, very, very important to keep moving. Okay. Right, let's kill that. We should be able to get some good XP here, though. And some good money, I guess. As long as we keep going. But they are going to run away. It's amazing to me, actually, how many enemies run away in this game. I don't remember many other RPGs where the enemies were so prone to running away. I mean, there was always that type of enemy that ran. But in this game, there just seems to be so many. Still, decent XP. Okay. Right. Now, what's that there? That 
also isn't what we want, is it? No. Yeah, there is down here. I can't remember what exactly it's called. It's like the Wandering Rock or something. Oh, God. Uh, Cutlass Fury. If we could kill a couple of these, that would be fantastic. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get a couple. We might be able to get one, which would be nice. We might have to heal after this as well. That's uh, okay. Well, we got one. I mean, that's fine. That's better than getting none of them, I suppose. That'll work. Hey, 666 cash. Nice. Hey, another rank up. Drilling. Cool. All right. Let's keep sallying forth. Actually, whilst we're here, let's have a little check. A little Jack could use a patch up, actually. Uh, right, okay. So, let's go for some items. Let's just burn these for now. Because these are really cheap. And pretty shit. Uh, might want to repair the little Jack as well. Just in case we come into ship to ship combat. Which, I can't remember what we're going to get after this. Right. Let's keep pushing forwards. Damn, son. We're going to get really stunned by all this combat here. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. It's all money at the end of the day. We could try and attack this other one. The only trouble is, we've got such a small chance of actually hitting the thing. Ah, uh, yeah, they both escaped before we could do Cutlass Fury. That's disappointing. But you can't win them all, sadly. I wish we could, but you can't. Come on. Get these bastards off my deck. Well, we still got a not insignificant amount of money. What are we on? Oh, we're on like 33 minutes. Oof, God. It might actually be worth going through this last battle. And then saving it, I think. Cutlass Fury. Right. Go for him. Everybody else, go for that one. I mean, I don't think you're actually going to get him. But, it would be nice. Oh, we did. We got, we got two of them. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Should come out with over a thousand gold. Oh, close to a thousand gold anyway. Right. I think we're going to save it halfway through here. Because things are getting a little bit long in the tooth for this video. Um, in fact, I might actually save it on the memory card slot B as well. Just in case. And to be 100% sure, drop a save state too. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know what you think of this emulator. My God, I think it's fantastic. At least, you know, for this game, everything seems to be working quite nicely. Like I said before, I've had very mixed um, <laughs> results with Dolphin. Uh, I've tried to play a few games on Dolphin before, and they just have not worked that well at all. But, you know... Dolphin's probably come a long way since I've used it before. In fact, it's been a good while since I've used Dolphin before. So, who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.